Good morning. We are Saturday morning. Last night, from the previous vlog, you probably saw me on a Friday like, oh, I got pizza, I'm gonna go out with my mom tonight, we're gonna have a nice date. No. <laughs> I didn't get home from work until like 8.45, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get these two videos up, you know, because we, we aim for a vlog and we aim for a beauty video. I get home from work and I realize only one of the videos is with me on my SD card. I almost started crying. <laughs> I almost started crying. I was like, I have worked like 12 hours. I just need to get this video, these videos up. And I think it was just like work, like being tired, <laughs> eczema, the selection. And I was just like, I almost lost it. <laughs> Because usually, if something like that happens, I'm just like, it's okay, calm down, you know, just go get the video tomorrow, which is what I'm doing now. I'm going to the office to do work, <laughs> a little bit of work, and to get this video. I don't know how much time I have, because my mom's coming over, because we have another one of those Remember the Dead things for Monday, which means we're gonna probably get stuff for that. So, God, I have some new makeup on today because, you know, it's for a VIB sale. My car is so dirty. I'm excited. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's today. Yay, 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 yay. Ooh, UPS guy. I'll bet he's coming to my house. Yeah, totally. <laughs> So I just filmed my Sephora VIB sale haul. I'm pretty excited. It was like a really good haul. I feel like, like I felt like it was a very well thought out curated haul where I'm like, these are good things. Like I'm really happy about everything. I hate when I get my staircase in the vlog. It's so ugly. Who's gonna come paint it for me? Will someone come and paint this for me? I will pay you like, I don't know how much actually I would pay you. I don't know what a reasonable rate is. I would give you a reasonable rate plus $5. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me share some food with you guys. I had gone to the Chinese grocery and Trader Joe's. Okay, well first of all, at Walmart I got some avocado. 90, 99 cents, so good. I'm glad I picked it up there because at um, Trader Joe's they were like $1.79 an avocado. I'm like, oh no, thank you. I picked up the golden curry in mild and medium hot. I had lemmings for it because me and Andrew had done that mukbang with this stuff. And it was just so good. I was like, oh, there is nothing you can make with this where it wouldn't taste good. So I got the medium hot too, just for a little spicy spicy. I also got the rice cakes. I am so excited for these. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. If I do, I want to boil them. Do I want to boil them and bake them? I haven't. Ugh, maybe we'll do both. I just I'm so excited. Two bags of my Old Town coffee. This is my favorite version. There is a version where they do sugar cane, which is okay, but I like the real sugar one. From Trader Joe's, we've got Palak paneer. This is my favorite like Indian dish ever. I, it doesn't matter where I go, where I'm at, if there's Indian food, I will order this dish. Um, I had done a mukbang for you guys with this in one of my vlogs, but that was the week where I lost all of my vlog footage and I was so sad. Like I thought it was like a pretty good like eating, talking video, but eh. I also got the garlic naan because when I had eaten it, the palak paneer before, I was kind of like, I really wish I had some rice or some kind of carb to go with it because like, while it's really good, I also like that it's not overly salty because sometimes when you just have things, certain things by themselves, it warrants some kind of pasta, rice, carb, something. And this was good. I didn't need it, but going to taste better with this for sure. I also picked up some alu chat. I really have been craving Indian food lately, <laughs> apparently. Um, so we'll see if these are any good. I have four of the crunchy slaw salads. This is white chicken, cabbage, carrots, crispy noodles with peanut dressing. This is probably my favorite salad I've had so far. I have tried probably like six of their salads. And this is the one that's been warranting repurchasing. Andrew introduced me to this. He had like so many of these 
when I was there and we had these every day that I was there that I can remember and I really like it. I'm also trying the lemon chicken and arugula. I love anything with arugula and this one has Moroccan style couscous and red quinoa, spicy pimiento dressing. I'm kind of excited. You can see the quinoa and couscous in there. Five spice chicken and Asian style noodle salad. Oh, this one says Trader Ming. Oh, how cute. Um, and what do we have here? Five spice chicken, angel hair pasta, carrots, cucumbers, peanut, and mint, and cilantro, and a chili lime dressing. Oh my god, that sounds so good. The chicken in here looks really good too. Sea salt chocolate chunk cookie sticks. I mean, uh, I'm gonna have one <laughs> like in a bit. Oh my god, I'm so excited for these. They're cookie sticks. I mean, it sounds so stupid. Like, why am I getting so excited? But I am. Blueberry muffins with a hint of maple flavor. I had one of these yesterday. First of all, the scent of blueberry is so good on this. And I don't know about you guys, but anything that says like hint of maple, maple flavor, maple essence, I'm like all for that. I love anything with a little bit of that, like, that maple sweetness. So these are delicious. Also, I think there's a definite a little sprinkling of salt so you're getting very sweet and savory and it's just like oh so good i also like that these aren't super heavy sometimes i find that trader joe's muffins can be a little heavy i also got the pumpkin cream cheese muffins uh cream cheese filling and sprinkle of pumpkin seeds i haven't tried any of these yet so i don't know I usually, when I get these, I usually have them like for breakfast at work, which is like, so not the healthiest breakfast, but I mean, you have to have balance. Like I feel like I eat pretty healthy and then I sometimes also don't. The Trader Joe's popcorn with herbs and spices. Uh, okay, I got three bags. Let's not even pretend. I already opened one bag and I got three bags of this. I also have the Bollywood popcorn. It is vegan tikka masala. Seasoning? Over. So I wanted to do a little, a little bit of a haul, kind of, sort of, for you guys. I had mentioned earlier in a different vlog that I had picked up the Flora by Gucci Gorgeous Gardenia off of eBay because I had just run out and I was thinking of picking it up from the VIB sale, but even the small bottle is like 78 and I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. So this is the big bottle, 3.4. I picked it up for about $45 and it's legit. I'll link the seller below. There's a little squirrel. In my last video, I had showed you guys that deer and someone had commented how like, cause I'm always talking about the animals I see outside and how I never show them. Because like by the time I see them, by the time I flip the camera around, they're gone. But that deer was like, that was pretty cool. This is the squirrel is so cute. Okay, so this is legit. What I did was when I got this bottle, I sprayed this one on one wrist and then I had the other bottle that was almost out on the other wrist and I just wore it throughout the day and just kept doing the sniff test to see how it wore. Totally the same. So super excited because I got the big bottle for 45. I think the big bottle runs for 100 retail. It did come in this tester box though. So it's not like the Gucci box. This is just some PR. This is the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo Powder Spray. It's in the medium cleanse. I'm kind of excited. I love dry shampoo, so I'm always down to try a new one. Lastly, these are off of Ipsy offers. If you, I'm going to link the site below. You don't have to be a member of Ipsy to shop from the site. Every day at noon, they list a brand new deal that is always crazy. It's always like 50% off of whatever. So these are a group of, or a group, five Luxie brushes that were $20 and it's always free shipping. So my routine kind of is like at work during the week, I will have lunch and then after lunch, I'll just check the Ipsy uh, deals to see what is on there. So they had these. I have picked up some really decent deals off of there. So I would totally recommend you guys checking them out. There are definitely limited amounts of product available. So I think it's best to check, you know, I obviously by the time, I don't know, when was, when do I finish lunch? Maybe around one o'clock, 1230 to between 1230 and one is when I check because that's when I remember to check. So sometimes I think they're always typically sold out by the next day. Like I just think they have as many as they do. And then they, once they're gone, they're gone. This is the 221 flat definer, 215 small angle, 231 small tapered blending. I'm obsessed with this brush. Oh, this is the 235 blending, the 207 medium angled shading. 
I really like Luxie brushes. I've ne I've always seen them on Instagram for a while, and I received, I want to say, a couple brushes from Generation Beauty in LA in January, and I was like, oh, I really like these. These are like really nice, and I had bought a few off of the website after that. So when I saw these, where it was like five for 20 bucks, I was like, I'm gonna try these. And th I don't have any of these. You would think that based on the amount of kind of like stuff I've gotten for free and what I've picked up, I would have picked up some of these by now. No, I'm so, ex I'm so excited for this 231 Small Taper Blending. It's like a round, tiny blending brush. It's gonna be awesome for the crease and maybe to even smoke out the lower lash line. So I know I've mentioned that I've been trying to kind of clear out my brush collection and just have, you know, my favorite best brushes, which obviously include a lot of, I have used probably Wayne Goss brushes on the daily. I love his brushes. And then like, and there's like some Tom Ford in there, some Jenny Patinkin. I've recently picked up Chico Hoto and um, I have some Trish McAvoy and RMK. I'm really trying to figure out which kinds of Japanese made brushes I really like because I really do like that they're handmade you don't see like even with these like I like these but you can see that obviously these are cut by a machine and that they're a little uneven you can see some like bristles that are longer some that are kind of like curled so even though I am in the process of doing that there are still a lot of brushes at an affordable level where you can buy five brushes and it's not like a crazy you know it's not gonna hit your wallet so hard brushes like Zoeva Luxie, a few from Morphe. Um, I'm trying to think about Misha. There's a lot of brushes from them that I like. So I'm, it's not like I'm gonna just have only expensive, really expensive brushes. It's like not the case at all. I'm just trying to like really figure out what I really like and what I really reach for all the time instead of just having like a lot of brushes where it's kind of like, oh, maybe I'll find a use for it. No, find a use for it now and stick with that. Okay, very quickly, I want to share with you guys. <laughs> Obviously, I took, took up my necklace. Took up. I was like gonna go eat lunch and everything, but I, and I put laundry in. But I wanted to share these with you. Yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear my laundry. But I had picked up these glasses. They're from the brand Sonics, and these aren't cute on me, but they look really good on other people. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about them in terms of them being really good quality. They're under a hundred dollars. They're now available at Nordstrom, and I'm gonna return these, but. I just want to show them to you. These are, I think they're called Daphne. These are the black pair. And they're really cute, like they are a cat eye, there's gold down here. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about the quality. The quality is so good. They're really well made. These have like a bit of a spring, which is really awesome. And they just feel really expensive. This is the same pair in like a tortoise frame. I don't know, like when I'm looking at them here, I kind of like them, but when I look at them in person, I'm not obsessed, and I still am not obsessed with them. I think they're around $98, but I just wanted to share with you that this is a really great brand, and I am definitely gonna keep looking at what other things they're gonna come out with because everything feels so nice for the price, or not even for the price. Even if these were like $400, I'd be like, oh, I totally get it, they feel amazing. <laughs> And the boxes they come in are really cute too. This feels so sponsored, it's totally not. I bought it from Nordstrom, now I'm gonna return it. But I wanted to share it with you so that you can also, sorry, hair weird. So you can also kind of like check in to see what they're coming out with. Okay, so Saturday, Saturday Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. <laughs> and what did I do this morning? Laundry, painting. I have to run so many errands. Post office, bank. I didn't. I ran no errands this week. I was busy. Um, and usually, me and Tracy try to get together like once a week. That did not happen. First, it was weather. Then she couldn't make it. Then I couldn't make it. And then it was just. Then I couldn't make it again. Cause, whew. This sunglass case that came with. I bought a product pair of Prada glasses. They're like the. You guys see them sometimes. But this case that it comes in. It comes in a beautiful box, and then it comes in this case. And it's like this faux Safiano leather. It's focusing on my face. There. It is such a nice case. It like, it's kind of dome, but like I've just been using it for like pretty much all of my sunglasses because it's like such a durable case and it fits like in most of my purses and like, it stands up and it's really nice. These are my favorite Mew Mews. People washing their cars. It's like a really good day for that. It's like really pretty out. 
Okay, so CVS to um, pick up our birth control for which we are not needing because we are not trying to control any births right now. Um, but I did have a 25% off shopping pass. So I got these pointed tip applicators. You see these? Do you know why these are awesome? Because they're pointed on the top and the bottom. You always find the ones where they're pointed on one end and the other side is like, like a slight oval kind, or it's like a flat rounded off one. This is really good. It was like 200 for 349 and then like the 25% off. I'm excited because I use these to either clean up wing liner or clean up the brows and these are like really sharp tips so I'm really into that. I got a pair of Ardell 135s because my beloved Kiss Sultry Lashes, especially when I buy them in a big pack, they don't look good on me anymore because I think they've changed them a little bit so I want, I need to find that like everyday lash, you know what I mean? Like I'm always trying different ones out from like Amazon or eBay but like I want to have something that's like just an easier thing so maybe if these are good maybe if these come in like a double pack or something that'll be great and then I got the Maybelline Falsies push-up angel this is the one where this is like an OG brush you guys remember this brush it's like a long plastic wand and then it only has bristles on like the bottom part of it so like let's say here's the one there's just like bristles coming off of here almost like a toothbrush was it Maybelline they had this a long long time ago and then they got rid of it and then maybe now they're bringing a very very similar thing back i don't know i'm kind of excited to try this obvi it's waterproof <sighs> monday morning again very early um what do you call it uh last well not last but uh, the last um whew, tom ford cafe rose Woo -hoo -hoo, very strong okay um this is one of the last, remember the dead ceremony things <laughs> before, we've had like, this is the third one. So this is the last one before Chinese New Year, which is next year. Um, oh, it smells so good today. You know how sometimes perfumes can smell a little different? Hey cutie. What are you doing? Hi. Hi baby. Hi cutie. What are you doing? I go on. Hi. Oh hi. Hi sweetheart. These are from Trader Joe's. They're dark chocolate with like almond cookies. If you like the taste of marzipan, oh my God, they're so good. So I popped back home before going back into work because I had to change. A, couldn't breathe with the bra I was wearing. Um, I don't know why I wear bras sometimes. I'm like, why do this to myself? So, and then um, what I had on was too warm. I really love this nude thing. It's from Forever 21. It's from I want to say a couple seasons ago and they had this one and they had like a navy one but this nude one is like so nice I wanted to share some skincare kits I've picked up with you guys this one is the Redial Dragon's Blood kit we have a cleansing water a tonic a sculpting gel and a moisturizer um, this was I think it retails for 58 and I got it for 29 ipsy offers Every day I check it after lunch, Monday through Friday, just to see what kind of deals they have. Um, I might pick up a couple things a month since I've started going on the site. It's really good. They Ipsy negotiates really great deals where they're always around, I want to say like 30 to 50% off. There's no tax. It's free shipping. Um, get on that. I'll link it below. Another kit I've picked up is the Kiehl's Zoolander No. 2, the Ridiculously Youthful Collection. And you get a little mini of the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which I love. I've been using that for a couple years now, and I really want to try the, the one for daytime. When it came out, I was just like, I don't want to spend like on a full size or even on like the smaller size. So I'm really excited to try that. And, there 
And there's a super multi-corrective cream. Very excited because I've had such great luck with this Kiehl's product that I'm hoping these two will work out really well. This I picked up off of Bloomingdale's. If this kit is still available, I will link it. I think it was like 20 or 21. Just unbox these and I want to show you guys the size. This is like a pretty generous amount because these are quite pricey. But look at the red dial set. Like, these are big. <laughs> like, this cleansing water is 100 milliliters. I'm excited. This is hyaluronic acid. And then this tonic is like a 50 milliliter spray bottle. Like, really generous. It's cold now, guys. It's cold. The jacket. Okay, so... The Trader Joe's Crunchy Slaw, this is my favorite. The the Five Spice Chicken, uh -uh. actually it was okay, the, I don't know, the flavor was okay, but the, the Angel Hair Pasta was like, ugh, I don't know. And then the Lemon Chicken with Arugula, that one is really good with couscous and quinoa. Highly recommend that, although I don't really like the pimiento dressing. You know, but this, the crunchy salad, chicken, cabbage, carrots, crispy noodles, and the peanut dressing, this one is the best one so far. I mean, I think I've tried most of them at this point. I don't know about other ones. The butter squash, no, no, that was okay. But I had mentioned the Taylor Farms one from Target. It was the Asian ones and the kind of Tex-Mex flavor one. I can't remember. Or Southwest dressing. And that one has cabbage, and this one has cabbage, but that one, when I have it, I don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I don't like that one. Like, I like it, the flavor, but I don't know what kind of cabbage they use there. But the cabbage they use in this one, the Trader Joe's one, is really good. And, um, what else? I like adding, like, an avocado sometimes. Not that, this is a big salad, the Trader Joe's one, but sometimes, um, when I get, like, a a less filling salad I'll add like an avocado to it and it does the trick this week have I I've just been really busy like at work I just no time no time for anything so this weekend <clears throat> oh it's starting to get really cold where like I can't paint properly so I think I'm really gonna try and paint today and then tomorrow because it's Saturday it's supposed to rain and Sunday, I don't really know the weather. Um, also, have to pack makeup and clothes for Atlanta. I leave on Wednesday, Wednesday night. And then I come back Monday evening-ish, something like that. So, I'm so excited! <laughs> uh, granted, I guess I just saw her last year, which I don't know, I guess as far as best friends go that's probably not soon enough if you live in the same city as your best friend you're really lucky like really 